Need to know what happened in crypto today? Here's what happened in crypto today. The markets continued with volatile movements that decoupled the price action of cryptocurrencies from equities markets. The recent downturn in the crypto market appears connected to the Federal Reserve's June 14th presser, where Fed Chairman Jerome Powell revealed that the central bank would pause rate hikes for June. While this move aligned with investors' expectations, the crypto market actually reversed course and resumed the sell-off that has been in play for the past three weeks. In the press conference after the June 14th announcement, Powell stated, Nearly all committee participants view it as likely that some further rate increases will be appropriate this year to bring inflation down to 2% over time. Bitcoin BTC tickers down $25,519 price started June 16th, trading above $25,000, but then briefly retracted below $25,000. Analysts correctly predicted that a drop to $25,000 was inevitable based on the current state of BTC derivatives data. Bitcoin's dip below $25,000 happened for the first time in three months, but has since regained the key price level. Following Powell's interest rate pause, options data on June 15th highlighted potential BTC price downside. The muted crypto price action and lack of a bullish response to the rate hike pause could be the lingering effect of the SEC's charges against Binance and Coinbase Exchange, coupled with new Tether USDT tickers down $1 drama. Related, holy shit, I've seen that. Coldy's Snoop Dogg, Vitalik, and McAfee NFTs. Crypto sector regulation is still the main threat regulation has been a constant in the recent cryptocurrency news cycle. While the EU unveiled a digital asset framework, MyCA, the United States seems intent to regulate through SEC enforcement. On June 5th and June 6th, the United States Securities and Exchange Commission filed civil lawsuits against two of the largest centralized exchanges in crypto, Binance, and Coinbase. The SEC claims that 61 different cryptocurrencies, representing $100 billion in value, are securities. One of the 61 crypto tokens listed was Algorand Algo tickers down 11 cents, a token that in 2019 Gensler called a great technology, which seems to contradict this latest enforcement action. Other top crypto tokens specifically mentioned as securities include Binance USD bust tickers down $1, Binance Coin BNB tickers down $235, Solana Sol tickers down $1.15. Cardano ADA tickers down $0.257, Polygon Matic tickers down $0.5713, Filecoin File tickers down $3.60, Cosmos Atom tickers down $8.70, The Sandbox Sand tickers down $0.37, cents. Decentraland Mana tickers down $0.33, cents. Axie Infinity Access tickers down $4.68, and Cody. The recent SEC action adds to a long history of disputes, misconceptions, or mistrust over the actual use case of digital assets. After the FTX implosion, some feel U.S. lawmakers are angry with the crypto industry. The most recent battle is centered on how centralized exchanges can use customer funds. Not all lawmakers are comfortable with Gensler's actions. United States Rep. Warren Davidson, OH, introduced the SEC Stabilization Act, into the House of Representatives on June 12th. The bill would remove Gensler as chair and redistribute power amongst a committee. Coinbase has also filed a lawsuit against the SEC to call for clarity on cryptocurrencies. In a response on June 14th, the SEC said it would take 120 days for the commission to make a recommendation on crypto rulemaking. Crypto investors take shelter in stablecoins. The ongoing crypto market volatility has sent users to seek shelter in stablecoins. Since the start of 2023, over 500,000 wallet addresses have added Tether. Tether's dominance has led to an all-time high market capitalization of over $83.5 billion on June 15th. While the stablecoin issuer has minted $16 billion in USDT in 2023 alone, a single $1 billion mint on June 12th led to Tether's chief technology officer Paolo Arduino having to clarify that the mint was for cross-chain swaps. Tether market cap. Source, Glassnode. The Tether CTO was in the news again on June 15th after USDT slightly depegged by 0.3%. 
The loss of the dollar peg seemed to be triggered by the Curve 3 pool imbalance, which saw USDT weighted at 73.8% versus USD coin USDC tickers down $1 and DAI DII tickers down $1. Despite the DPEG, Tether remains convinced that it can redeem any amount required by market participants.